Hey guys, it's Ross Gordon on Space Crack Set. It's time for part two of my Star Wars top ten novels, numbers five through one. I will say these are all very, very close together in the rankings. It's really not that much more than a head spread between them, but the top two are ahead of the others. First, at number five, Bloodline by Claudia Gray. Always great to have a Princess Leia adventure. The writing for her never disappoints. Thoroughly enjoyed this one. She's in the Senate in Hosnian Prime. Tried to find out about the First Order and what influences they have with the criminal element. It was really, really good. And obviously, uh, the big reveal that she's Vader's daughter doesn't go over too well with her colleagues and the rest of the galaxy. And that is essentially what leads to her leaving the Senate and forming the Resistance. So, every cloud has a silver lining. Now, at number four, this represents the entire trilogy of Aftermath, by the way. This one I'm just showing is Empire's End. Great series, absolutely loved it. Uh, the people who had an issue with the writing style, I know I didn't have that problem. As I've said before, I barely even noticed it. You know, once I was into it, I was into it. And again, Ray Sloan in this, she is the best character. And I mean, all the other new ones like Nora Wexley and Snap, obviously, and Mr. Bones and Sinji and Jas and Jom and I think there's one other who I can't remember right now. They were all really, really good uh, characters as well. But Ray Sloan, oh, she is just awesome. I love her. <laughs> now, next, I'm putting these two together in number three. Catalyst and the Rogue One novelization. Very difficult to separate the two of these because they do really go hand in hand. This was great. Lyra Erso, Jin's mother, oh, she's fantastic. Yet another excellent female character for Star Wars. The backstory with Orson Krennic and all of that and how he manipulates them until they escape with the help of Saul Guerrero was excellent. And this one... As I said before, it's a good uh, novelisation of the film. It does have extra scenes that weren't in the film, but the thing that made this really stand out was the various chapters that was like uh, Rebel Intelligence Reports and all that sort of thing. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it. And I forget which, I think it's this one actually, yes, where um, he, uh, Austin, not Austin Credit, sorry, Gellert Erso, how he snows under uh, the guys to put in that flaw in the Death Star. He just uh, does a data dump on them. It was great. And obviously Krennic only realises just before he's annihilated <laughs> that that happened. Now, second, and this was for a time my favourite of the new canon, is this, Lost Stars. Uh, again by Claudia Gray. This was absolutely fantastic. What this was really good at was tying in new characters into the original trilogy. So all the various crucial moments of those films, whether it is the uh, destruction of Alderaan, uh, the destruction of the Death Star, um, the Battle of Hoth, the Battle of Endor, and anything you can think of in between, tied in very well to Sienna Ree and Thane Kyrell. Absolutely loved this. Um, this would make a great film, well, they don't make great films, this particularly would make an excellent film. I absolutely love this. I thoroughly recommend this one too. And I wish I had picked this one up much, much earlier than I actually did. Now, that brings us to number one. If you've been following my recent Star Wars books and uh, my Star Wars um, collection parts, you'll probably know what is next. There can be only one, of course. <laughs> Obviously, that's from Highlander, not Star Wars. But yes, this, for me, currently is the best of the new canon. It's fantastically well-written, as Timothy Zahn books always are. And it gives us that backstory on the Grand Admiral that we were desperately missing. And I know a lot of it is, essentially, the old canon's history, especially how they find them on that planet and how he infiltrates the, um, the shuttle wearing Stormtrooper armor and all that, and... It brought before the Emperor. It was great seeing his rise through the ranks and seeing Arinda Price, who doesn't start off as a bad person, how she becomes basically a typical Imperial bureaucrat, um, as we see by the, the time she's Governor of Lothal in Rebels Season 3. But yes, this is my number one for the time being. We shall see what happens when other books come out in due course. But yes, that is my top ten of the Star Wars new canon. Um... No Place for Tarkin or Battlefront or Lords of the Sith because uh, I haven't finished reading Tarkin and I don't have the other two. And I didn't include the Tales from a Galaxy Far, Far Away just because it's a collection of shorts. 
and obviously the comics are in a separate league of their own. But that is my top 10. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment suggestion for a topic you'd like to see discussed. I like the video.